What's up everybody, it's Mark from 403 Fauna. On this week's episode, I wanted to share with you a new acquisition, and that is a rack. So I was fortunate enough to find a used rack on the Facebook Marketplace for a pretty good price. So I decided to snap it up because I have some 2021s that are in need of an upgrade from a shoe box to these Rubbermaid 28 quart tubs. Each tub has a coconut husk substrate, water bowl, and a hide. So I wanted to share with you the snakes that will be going into this rack and the future that I have for them. So I hope you kick back and listen in to this week's episode. Occupying the top slot is going to be Frost. And if you can't notice, Frost is in blue right now. He is a pastel banana, genetic stripe, VPI Azanthic. And he's got a, several dates with some clown girls this coming winter. So I could start making those triple hats. I'm super excited to have him in the collection. I got him from Decat Inc. So Frost, welcome to your new home here, buddy. I hope you enjoy it. Up next, we have Frost's sister, Cassiopeia. And just like her brother, she is entering a shed cycle. Both of these are super great eaters. And you know, when you feed them on a consistent basis, they're kind of going to go on the same shed cycles. So with her, I'm probably going to take to Desert Ghost. I want to go separate routes with the both of them. And eventually with their babies, cross them over for some four bangers in the future. I got her also from Decat Inc. Once again here, Cassiopeia, Pastel, Banana, Genetic Stripe, Het VPI Xanthic. So you can see the difference between her and her brother, just missing a single copy of the VPI Xanthic gene and the vast difference that can make. So both of these guys should have some good sheds going into these new cages with that coconut substrate. Next up is Calypso. Calypso is a pastel blade, double het, desert ghost clown. I got her from Showcase Serpents. She's a fantastic eater. I fully expect her to go the next breeding season and hopefully I'll be able to produce some desert ghost clowns. I got the perfect male for her. So look at how clean her pattern is with that blade. And also a desert ghost just cleans up the pastel She's a stunning looking animal on her own. And I'm super glad to have her in the collection. Again, we have Calypso, Pastel Blade, Double Head, Desert Ghost Clown from Showcase Serpents. In the next slot, we have an Aksuna Moon. She is a pinstripe clown. And I got her from Anabolic Reptiles here in San Diego. I really love this girl. Her pattern is super unique. Pinstripe clowns, in my opinion, are just extremely underrated. And this girl is one of the ones that is gonna go to Frost in the future. So again, I want, I want those triple head VPI Xanthic Genetic Stripe Clowns and her mixed in with some Pinstripe, Banana and Pastel. It's going to be an incredible combination. So once again, we have Anaxuna Moon. She is a Pinstripe Clown from Anabolic Serpents. The last occupant of this rack is a banana het clown, 50% possible het ghost from Adam at Proper Royals. Now this snake is super clean, not a banana spot on her. And I've talked with Adam a lot about her and we speculate that there's another gene going on here. Maybe vanilla, who knows? We'll figure it out once we breed her. I named her Chiquita. And once again, she is a banana het clown, 50% possible het ghost from Adam at Proper Royals. Thank you for joining me on part two 
of the collection tour I have here. We've covered 13 of the 42 snakes. If you missed part one, I'll link it below. Have a great week, everybody. Take care and be safe.